So let me let me point out a couple of things. That picture you see is a is a um, a tarantula shedding its skin. When they grow, their skin is an exoskeleton. So we have bones on the inside. Our bones. When it when an insect or a tarantula, spider, an arachnid, scorpions, uh, even snakes, some reptiles. When they grow, they have to split their skin on the outside, and then they and then they grow new. And what they do with a tarantula, this is his face, this is his head. And what this does is this pops up like a, like a back door. This pops open, and then as you see in that picture right there, see his little eyes, his little beady eyes in the front? Uh, this is his face and his head. And what happens here is this opens up, and that tarantula lays on its back, and it starts to wiggle its way out of its skin. So this is the first thing. This you ever have uh, like a sunburn and your skin's dry and it yeah. starts to peel and a piece of it pops up and then you start pulling on it. Yeah. It's kind of like this. This gets dried out and then this pops open and then when this happens, the tarantula will be laying on his back. And uh, you guys want to see this over there? No. Yeah. Want to see that? Yeah. It's, it's, this is just a skin. This is just a skin. This is his face. See the live balls up front. All right, now this is the rest of his body. So his entire body, his eyeballs are here, everything. Uh, and what's neat is, the neatest part about this is that they're like, like snakes, all right? When I bring out the tarantula, the tarantula's fangs, you won't see his fangs. They, they keep them tucked in. So because the fangs are very important because that's how it eats. And if those break off, then it can't eat, it dies, right? But when they shed their skin, everything pops out so that they can slide out, including the fangs. So I'm going to come around and I'm going to show you. This is his, this is his entire body. This is his belly. He popped out of his skin, and you saw his head. These are his fangs right here in his mouth. You see those big, black, shiny things right there? Those are his fangs. You see those? You see them, right? It's real, man. This is just the skin. Yeah, it looks real because this is his entire body. This is a. I love that. You see that right there? His fangs. I don't want to see the real one either. I'll come around this one. This right here. It has the fangs. It has the feet. It shows how the feet are. All the rest of it. Anyone seen that Spider-Man movie? Yeah. All right. What did he have on his fingers? Anyone remember? Hairs. Those little black hairs, right? And what those are? Those are like little fish hooks. And spiders have that's that. That's why you can walk on walls. Yeah, that's why you can walk sure. on walls, yeah. rub your arm, and all the rest of it. And that's what spiders have. Yeah. Right, you guys got to go pie. Right. Now, the reason why I, I do this so slow is even in the sand and in the glass, like you were saying, it has those uh, those little hairs. And uh, the student I got it from, a student gave it to me like six years ago. And uh, he went to pick it up. It's on both my hands right now. If I pull the bottom, my bottom hand out real fast, it could rip off one of his legs. Because those little black hairs that we were talking about, they're like fish hooks. And what he's doing, what he's doing, even on my finger right here, I could feel him, is he's is he's he sticks them in there so that he could walk. He sticks them in there. No, you don't you don't feel it because it's it doesn't go deep. It's not like uh, like needles or anything like that. But but if you look, if you have a tarantula and you look at it. You can see, just before it puts his foot down, these little black hairs on the bottom of its feet stick out. And in that picture, they show them. They show them right there in the bottom of the feet. And, it, and they stick them right in there, and that's how they keep themselves sure-footed. But tarantulas are real sensitive. I mean, they're, they're just insects. They're real delicate. And if I went to pick them up, I'd rip all his legs off right now. And that's what happened was the kid had, a, had the tarantula on him, and he had, a, one of the legs was on his hand, the other ones, and he pulled his hand off. And it uh, it ripped the leg off. <laughs> so we, we used to call him Stumpy, Stumpy the spider. But did it go back? Yeah. It, well, look at him now. He's, he's perfectly fine. Uh, when this happens, this happened. Uh, it was four years ago. This was this summer. But four every two years about four years ago this happened. Uh, I used to teach biology next door. And it happened right in the morning, and it started happening during the day, so everyone could actually see, like that picture showed, How the spider. It it takes them all day. All what they do is the, the, nice, the uh, a pink color to it. Like I said, it's a rose hair tarantula, and if you look at it nice and fresh, it looks kind of pinkish, right? 
Uh, Jill. Jill the spider. <laughs> no, seriously, did you name the spider? No, I don't name it. I, I don't name it. Charlie. I really want one. Yeah. I know. Right, no, I still want to trade up. Uh, now remember, when you get one of these guys, six years. Uh, some, some, they can last 20, 25 years, different tarantulas. Some of them even 30 or longer. Uh, so if you get a, a tarantula, it lasts a long, long time. And like I said, everyone thinks it's cool until you get it and this is all it does. And they're like, they're like, oh, it's so boring. It just sits there. It doesn't do anything. It's so boring. All right. What? Hey, don't push him. Shh, don't push him. I see it. That's so cute. All right. I like it. So you are middle linebacker. He seems, uh, I don't think he likes my, my watch pad, my little watch pad. All right, so, uh, <laughs> uh, what you see here on this tarantula, uh, on, this, on, on his back, he has these two things that are like fingers, they're called spinnerets. And this is where the silk comes from for its, for its web. Well, no, uh, if, if, he's, if he's feeling, uh, comfortable, what he'll start to do is you'll see this is there's a bunch of web on the ground here. And he puts web on the ground. If he's feeling comfortable, these little fingers come out. And then they'll start you'll see him start touching my skin. And what's happening is he's kind of setting down a web to make right. himself at home. You know what I'm saying? He's, he's feeling so comfortable he wants to make himself at home. Well yeah no right now during usually when this happens, you guys are the second class I do it in. Usually it takes him a while until, like if I'm handling him all day, then he's kind of like, okay, well, it looks like I'm going to be living here for a while because this guy won't put me down. So then I'll start uh, setting up where his uh, webbing is. Unlike the spiders that we have around here that set up webs in the air, they set up just their webs in the ground because their webs wouldn't be able to support their weight. They're too heavy. And what they do is they, is they uh, this guy lives in this little hutch right here. And it goes right here, and he sets up his web. If you look at this now, the webbing is right at the right at the face of his hutch, and then kind of goes into where he stands. And he'll just put a couple feet there on the web. And when I put crickets in there, when a cricket comes by and starts walking where the webbing, it makes it vibrate, and he knows there's a cricket right here. It'll come up. Uh, very good point. Uh, tarantulas are venomous, but uh, tarantulas. You can look on this too. There's never been one. From this is from National Geographic, my, res my resource that we have in front. There's never been one reported case of a single person dying from a tarantula bite. Whereas with uh, with bee stings, over 200 people in the United States a year die from being stung by bees. Uh, the tarantulas, their venom, their venom that they have is for uh, paralyzing. They well, first of all. They eat their food alive, right? They don't. They don't kill the crickets. I mean, they end up killing them. But when they, when they bite them, they paralyze them. They like to keep the heart going. They want the juices flowing. They want to refresh, right? Harry Potter or something, or the Lord of the Rings. 